Hello everyone, for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put sheathing on this floor system right here. Uh, right here, I have some joists, 2x10s, 16, in 16 inches on center, I have a girder, I have some lally supporting the girder, some rim joists, you know, so I think it's time to put some sheathing. Alright, let's get started. So, in order to do that, where it says structure on the, in the ribbon, you go where it says floor, click on it, then you click and we do not have any sheathing here but that's okay click on the six inch six inch concrete click on edit type and let's duplicate we're gonna rename we're gonna call this uh, three quarter inch plywood sheathing hit okay next we're going to where it says structure where it says edit we're going to edit, we're going to change the material. Right now we have concrete cast in place. We want that to be plywood sheathing. Hit OK. Once you select the material. And let's have the thickness of the sheathing 3 quarter of an inch. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now, let's see if I could do this correctly. We're in a 3D model right here, and I should have gone to the first floor framing plan. So, go to the first floor framing plan. Right here, it has, uh, on your properties, it says foundation. Just want to make sure you have that on the first floor framing plan. If you leave it at foundation, it's going to literally put the sheathing on the foundation plan. We don't want that. So, change that to first floor framing plan. We're going to go where it says pick lines. We're just gonna pick some lines here. We're gonna pick the outer, the outermost lines of the framing system that we have here. Next, because uh, in order for this to work, we want the lines to connect. So just go to the trim extend to corner and just click on those lines. All right, click, 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 click. So right now it's extended. The, 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 excuse me, the, the lines are, are connected to each other. So if I click on the green check mark, then it's gonna work. You're gonna see your sheathing. Another cool thing about this is that you can also change the direction of the span of the plywood. Uh, in this case, it's okay. I'm gonna leave it as if, as is. Uh, but if you do want to change the direction of the of the of the span, it's pretty simple. Just click on it. Cl click on the span direction. You click on line. And if you want to go the, the going to the other way, just click on that and click the check mark. And it should do it. This, you have your sheathing. No, I don't want it that way, so I'm just gonna go click on the on the sheathing again, and you go edit boundary. Click on the edit boundary, and then just go back to the span direction. Go to where uh, where it says line, and you could just literally you could click anywhere. And there you go. Pretty simple. Ah. Uh, if you don't want the joists to look like this, you could always hide the sheathing. And it will be as if it wasn't there, but it is still there. If you And this view is not there. If you go to the 3D model, you're going to see your sheathing. Alright. So it's not so bad. So that's how you put a floor on a frame on a floor system okay thank you and have a good day